So here we are again, or maybe it's your first time. Either way, you've landed in the right place. Welcome back to Milos. Last time I wandered through the alien landscape of Saracenico and discovered the laid back charm of Plucker. But there's more to Milos than just pretty views and sunsets. This time I'm diving into the ancient history of the island, strolling through the postcard perfect fishing village of Klima, hitting up the port town of Adamantis, climbing hilltop churches and finding beautiful beaches. And yes, eating lots of delicious food. So whether you're back for more or just tuning in, let's see what else Milos has up its sleeve. websites. I've got a view of a nice car park though. <laughs> anyway, you can't really be upset when you're staying in paradise. Uh, so I chose one of the cheapest rooms I could find because I'm on a bit of a budget. <laughs> um, and uh, I've got two beds. It's very basic, but it's right in the middle of town. Uh, so I can't complain. Okay, second full day in Milos. Um, just on my way to get the bus to Tripiti. Uh, I'm gonna check out some of the sites there. There's the um, old theater and the catacombs of Milos and a cute little fishing village and have a wander around Tripiti as well. So um, let's go. Good morning, Caddy. All right, starting my little Milos morning of getting a pastry and get a different one each time. This one is called Capisi, I think it was. And apparently it's some sort of yellow cheese. Looks good. Well, so it's a bit windier today, um, which would be nice if you're out sailing. Uh, it also makes a nice change from the western heat just to have that cool breeze coming through. Um, you see all these boats, uh, one thing I didn't have time or really the budget for on this particular trip um, was to do a yacht trip around the island, uh, it's a really popular thing to do here um, because there's quite a few sites that you can only access by boat so um, yeah, if you have the time and the money um, then definitely do a boat trip around Milos while you're here Okay, I'm at the bus stop now. <laughs> Alright, there was actually a stop for the catacombs on the bus. Uh, a little weird thing is that you don't pay for the bus or get your ticket until you get off. Uh, so, because my Euro 8 OC, so make sure you got the right change. Absolutely gorgeous walk down the hill towards the catacombs. But I feel like afterwards I'm gonna have to walk back up this hill, so I better save some energy. She is the Venus de Milo. Um, you will know the famous sculpture Venus de Milo. Uh, this is obviously a replica because the original is in the 
Louvre Museum in Paris, I believe. Uh, but the statue was actually found here on Milos, hence the name, Venus de Milo. Okay, so the Aphrodite of Melos, the Venus de Milo, um, was actually found here in 1820 um, on a dig uh, in the ancient city of Melos. You can see I'm reading. <laughs> um, and then after a dispute between France and um, the sublime Porte, Ottoman Turkey, over the possession, the marble goddess said farewell to Milos and was gifted to the King of France, Louis XVIII. So, very interesting. Okay, being an actor and a theatre nerd, um, I am pretty excited for this next bit that I'm just about to see, which is the ancient theatre of Milos. Stunning. There's the theatre. So the ancient city of Milos was the, um, the biggest historic population in the time on the island of Milos. It was built in a strategic position, obviously, overlooking the ocean down there. And um, it was actually quite a long period of time. It was from the 9th slash 8th um, BC all the way until 6th, 7th AD. So... Not a bad spot to have a city, I reckon. Uh, so, obviously the audience would sit in the seats here. Um, in Greek theatre, the chorus would actually perform at this bottom part. Um, and then over here you have the uh, pole for Tim. And up behind it you've got the proscenium. Um, this is... A little bit of a Roman style as well as Greek style ancient theatre. Okay, now I'm on the stage. Um, this is very exciting for me. I'm nerding out big time. I love the theatre. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I studied acting originally. I worked in performing arts uh, for a long time. Now I'm semi retired. I do it a little bit, but not so much. I'm not. 100% sure what this pit is down underneath. Um, maybe it was an entrance or just a hiding spot. some of the structures of the old city down there. So the little fishing village down there is called Kalima. I'm going to head down there soon. And there's some colourful houses down there on the water of Hanwha, which is a bit of a tourist attraction. I'm going to head up to this church now and have a look. Elias Holy Chapel. <laughs>
villas Okay, that church um, wasn't even on my radar at all, but I'm so glad I came up here. Uh, definitely worth if you're visit visiting the catacombs and the temples to make a short little trek up to uh, the Prophet Elias Holy Chapel. Stunning views. Uh, and on the way down, I've actually found a staircase, so I didn't really have to clamber through the rocks. So the catacombs, which I've just made it to, um, are open from Wednesday until Monday every week. And guess what day it is today? That's right, typical me. It's Tuesday, so they're closed. I'll walk down to the entrance anyway and have a look. Um, what they are anyway, <laughs> it's a uh, old Christian burial chamber, considered to be one of the most important, if not the most important, Christian archaeological site in the whole of Greece. Here's a tiny cave at least, if I can't go into the real one. Anyway, I'll see how I go for time tomorrow. I think my theory is in the afternoon, so if I do have time tomorrow, maybe I could come and catch them. Um, but after doing all this walking down the hill and then having to walk back up again, I'm not sure if I will. Sorry, catacombs of Milos. I'm sure you are spectacular. <laughs> all right, there's the entry down there. Let's at least have a look what's in here. That's the entry. So the positive thing is, now I have a really good excuse to come back to Milos one day, um, because I really would love to come back here. I'm hoping this little path that I found takes me down to the fishing village because it's getting a bit hot even though it's windy and I think I need to have a swim. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to take my shoes off for this one. Must be high tide. Oh, cats everywhere. Hello, buddy. I can't even take my shoes off without getting interrupted by a cat. <laughs> mm. You want a pet? <laughs> He just doesn't want me to leave. All right, you gotta watch your step. It's a bit treacherous. It's a bit slippery.
this little village, the Klima fishing village is uh, so charming and quaint. All the different coloured uh, houses along the water there. It's just the cutest. Every time. <laughs> ah, delicious lunch. Beautiful spot by the water there. And um, now it's time to trek back up the hill and find the bus. <laughs> it's meant to be here in half an hour. Apparently it takes half an hour, so I'm gonna stop here and let you know if I made it. Okay, I said I was gonna stop there, but I just have to show you. I can't handle this beauty. Look, it's like glittering. <laughs> this place is unreal. All right, I made it to the bus stop. It's about 15 minutes to spare, and I'm a fast walker. So now I'm gonna sit down and chill for a bit. Some of the bluest waters I've ever seen. So warm and refreshing. <sighs> so beautiful. Uh, this looks like as good a beach spot as any to watch the sunset. Church bells chime in 7 p.m. sunset time. Um, really beautiful sunsets here. They're almost like a lot more pastel colored. Um, you get those pinks and light blues and light orange and white. This place is magical. Just getting lost in the back streets of Adamantus, or Adamas, as it's sometimes called as well. It's really cool. Uh, this is where all the locals live. And get the 
that morning sun. Morning coffee. Okay, spana kapita for breakfast. The color of the water is absolutely incredible. It feels like it gets better every day here. Sad to be going home today. Well, not home. I'm going back to Athens and then I'm going to Italy, so I'm not sad at all, really. <laughs> so I'm not sure what it was called, but this little honey walnut thing is absolutely delicious. Mm. Um, this is Race Date Hotel Delfini. Cost about 50 euros a night, which is pretty reasonable considering the price of some of the other places around here. Got everything needed and um, super quiet. So that's good. Plus lots of cats. Place. I don't know the name of this little beach, but it's so beautiful wandering all along the waterfront here. And this is Papikinu Beach, one of the sandy beaches on the island. I have to lie down here and have a sunbathe then a swim soon. So, no massive adventures for my last day here in Milos. Um, I'm just gonna soak up a little bit of Greek Island sun. Beautiful blue waters and a bit of relaxing sunbathing and then eat some food. There's a taverna that I've heard about down this way that um, is meant to be really good. Uh, it's called O Hamos Taverna. So um, let's see if the reviews are correct. Well, I think this is as good a place as any to lie down for a couple of hours. Get in those waters. Okay, 
place. I just had the most amazing meal right there in Ohamos Tavern. Um, Ohamos translate in Greek to being crazy and having fun, so it's very me. <laughs> um, the food was delicious. I had the um, slow cooked goat and a lemon mustard and the green beans and the cutest little carafes of wine. Um, uh, perfect last meal in Milos. I wish I'd found it on the first day. I probably would have eaten there every single day. But it's just a little bit of a walk out of Armantas. About a 20 minute walk. Um, but definitely worth it. And right across the road from a beautiful beach. Well, I've got to say, the island of Milos is one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure exploring it. There's so much of the island I still didn't see as well. I was only here for three days. I just explored a small section of it. Um, but there's also the sulfur mines and the boat trip all around the island. So many other beaches and little towns. So maybe I'll be back to explore the rest. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, send me a comment. And um, I'll see you on the next adventure. Woo! As the ferry pulls away from Milos, the island fades into the distance, but those memories are still fresh. The ancient theatre, the colourful boats of Klima, the winding streets of Adamantas, those hilltop churches and the beaches where time seems to stand still. Leaving this place isn't easy. There's something about Milos that gets under your skin, something that makes you want to turn around and stay a little longer. But as the island slips out of view, I know one thing for sure. This isn't goodbye. It's just a see you next time.